In this video, I've got a really, really fun little breakdown for you today. We're gonna to be talking about how you can lock down any two by two spread offense in Madden 22, whether that be gun doubles, gun spread, gun normal Y off, um, all of those kind of sets, we're gonna have really, really good defense for. Really excited to break this down for you today. These are, um, this is a defense specific to spread type of sets and something that I found um, that I really, really, really like against it. And it's uh, something that we really don't talk about. Now, it says any kind of twin set like split twins. Uh, wing slot offset could be an example. Uh, doubles weak. Um, spread wide flex. Those are all examples of, of twin sets. Another example of a twin set is when someone motions over a lot from trips. So if they motion, like let's say they're in gun tray or gun trips tied in, and they motion a slot across to the right, that's going to create doubles. It's going to create a two by two formation. And so today I wanted to give you a really, really fun defense for two by two spread and something that I've had personally a ton of fun with. So the defense comes out of our big nickel over G defensive guide. If you've not gotten the guide yet, I highly recommend it. We're going to walk you through what I would say is by far the best defense in the game. And the reason why is there's so many things that people don't know about big nickel over G that we walk you through in the guide from alignment to pressure to a gap pressure, uh, defensive tackle nano blitzes uh, in certain pass block situations the ability to get double edge pressure the ability to get double looping pressure it combines every incredible pressing co pressure concept of Madden 22 into one defense it also has all of the coverages that you need to be successful and the coverage that we're gonna be talking about today is cover three buzz match now most people don't really run a lot of cover three match and the reason why is because they really don't understand how it works and today we're gonna show you my favorite way to run cover three match and why I I want to say on record that this is the best two by two um, defense for like spread or gun doubles or any of that stuff and the reason why is because of how your routes are going to funnel everything to your user in this defense so cover three buzz match and let's go ahead and get on the field now i would recommend slot cornerback package on for the big nickel you don't have to do that you can just not have it it's up to you um, but i use it as when i'm running match cover Coverages, I typically will leave the um, the coverage or whatever it's called the, the slot cornerback package on so that's just something that you might uh, might want to do okay so let's get on the field like I said if you want to learn everything about this defense you can get the defensive guide okay so and, and it's and it's linked in the description okay so how are we gonna set this up very simple actually so all we're going to do literally the setup is very simple going to show blitz notice something that happens in big nickel whenever you have slot receivers this slot corner really adapts to the slot receiver so let me show you what i mean so let me show let me just go over here to a gun uh doubles set and i'm going to uh baseline and show blitz look where he goes see that right there when you're baseline and show blitz, the nickel corner will automatically align to wherever that slot receiver is. That's very, very important for a two by two set because you see right here, he's not where he's supposed to be. All I'm gonna do is base align twice to like unbase align and then rebase align, of course. And then you'll see when I show blitz, he comes over the top of that player. Very, very helpful for the way this defense is supposed to work because these two guys are supposed to help with stuff like this. The linebackers are supposed to be able to stay in the box to be able to handle the run game, okay? So anyways, that's what we're gonna do from a setup perspective. That's literally pretty much it. And then we're just gonna bring this guy over the center. Now, this is going to appear like some of our other coverages that we like to run out of here, like quarters or palms or two read or um, you know Tampa three or, or man, whatever you want. But what's really good about this coverage shell Especially if you just bluff blitz the defensive end and you're gonna blitz your user And then I want to tell you real quick just shade inside when you shade inside It's gonna help a lot because you're gonna say well aren't they gonna hit you like aren't they gonna hit you in the middle of the field? Well, I'm gonna show you so I'm not gonna use it I'm just gonna run a deep skinny post to Mike Evans and I want you to see how this covered these outside guys play You're gonna see that it's never gonna get open as you can see right here. It's very bagged 
over the top of the over the top of the defense now the other thing that is really really good about cover three match if you know anything about spread if you have any skill set in spread what you're going to do is you're going to try to hit me with a bomb like something like this if you will okay some kind of bomb concept this is very popular so if you watch how this this coverage is going to play i'm going to blitz my user i'm going to bluff blitz that guy Okay, I want you to watch how this bomb plays. I want you to watch the seam flat on the right side of the screen, and I want you to watch that outside third. Again, we're gonna shade inside. Really important you shade inside on cover three match. What you'll see is that seam flat will guard that guy, and then this post, it got picked off, but he's guarding the right guy. Now, obviously your user can help with that. Your user's gonna be over the middle of the field, but it's it's not that open if you really if you really think about um, everything within, within the play. So again, to show blitz i'm just gonna shade inside and then i'm gonna spy my user this time but what you should see is a lot of times it, it has to do with the fact that gronkowski's running into him but a lot of times you get that right there and i'll show you in this replay it's very um you know they basically have to run into each other for them to get burned um which doesn't really happen a lot but anyways you'll see right here look at this He's completely bagged. You can't throw this bomb over the top. This is one of the best features of this package. So again, I'll show it to you one more time. We'll show it to you from the other side now. So you say, well, Cody, aren't you gonna be, aren't you gonna get beat over the top? No, you're not. You're not gonna get beat at all. So boom, boom. We got a slant. We got, I mean, we got everything on this play right here. This is a very good combo for bombing. And what you'll see is again, I can't throw that route. As you can see, he catches up to him. Now, every now and then, again, that's again where they run into each other. That's one thing. It's a lot. It's 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 really has to do with the speed of the regs players being so slow. In mutt, there's a lot less of this because your your players are better. Um, you're just not gonna have stuff like this happen in mutt. I'm just telling you. Um, you might have it every now and then, but it's not gonna be like a you know every you know every play thing. I'll show you one more time. Here's the bomb. And you see here, see how my guy's in front of him and takes that post every time. So they can't throw bombs on you in spread. I think that is huge. I think that's absolutely huge. So you don't have to worry about the bomb. The only thing you have to worry about with a user on this defense, literally the only thing that you need to have any worry about whatsoever is a crossing route. So I'll show you what happens. So these seam flats are designed to play outside leverage and up. So they're going to take them up and out. So um, if I, you know, if Gronkowski, I'll show you what I mean. So like if Johnson runs a corner and then we run something underneath it like this, this combo right here will be bagged by this coverage. You'll see right here, this corner route just won't, it, it's very, I mean, it might get kind of open. It's really not that successful because they're going to take them up and out. Now they're also supposed to take them inside uh, or up and inside as well and they do they just don't do a very good job especially if you have a good um, player running that crossing route so you know let's say they run y cross or something like this you're in the middle of the field here you'll see the zig gets bagged the running back will get bagged but if you watch that cross or he's going to get a lot of separation over the middle of the field so your job literally your only job is to guard the crosser um, from whichever side of the formation it comes. So you're rob you're just basically a rat in the hole. You're a robber and you're going to say, you know what, if you run a crosser, I'm going to go guard it. So I'll give you, you know, maybe it looks something like this. And what you'll see is you're here and you're just going to take that crosser every single time. Boom. Very, very effective, uh, very, very effective coverage defense. And that's all you have to do. Now, um, let's say they run Let's say they get real get real weird with you and they run double crossers if you watch closely you'll see that they're going to run into each other a lot of times so you just kind of want to pick the one that gets the separation one of them will get separation one of them won't so you want to try to be smart and pick the one that doesn't get the, the separation that's just what i found that works best again the three wreck is really going to help the underneath stuff if you want to you can drop this defensive end into a hard flat um, just to help with any kind of crossers on one side, but you really shouldn't need to. And then let's let me show you one other thing here. So this is a slant, uh, slant post combo. So like a shallow cross, if you will. And what you'll see here, you're in the middle of the field. Okay, I need to go over here, and you see how the coverage plays 
very well. So there's really nothing open. And this really will, I mean, it, it just bags everything, it, 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 almost everything. And, and this is why we want the three wreck on the running back side because let's say the running back, let's say they do a concept like this. This is very popular, something like this right here. If you watch this three wreck, he will, they will get a double team and you've got perfect coverage on the running back. So the running back wheel is shut down because a three wreck, a three wreck is a match coverage zone. It's a three receiver hook, so it, it it's a matching principle. So what's really cool about this, especially when you do it to the running back side, is that's who he, the running back is obviously the third receiver, right? So what's really cool is this um, this hook curl and the three receiver hook will communicate with one another in the play, and they'll literally swap assignments so that you can get even better coverage. And you see how good this coverage is. Literally, you're taking the crosser. Wherever the crosser is, you're taking it. So if it's a deep cross, it has to be over 10 yards. Over 10 yard crosser route, you're taking it. So if it's a post to the tight end or slot, or if it's a slot crosser, those are the two things that you need to watch out for with your user. You have everything else guarded. The deep bombs are guarded. The deep posts are guarded. Everything else is guarded. Obviously, if there's nothing to user, then you might want to help poach the post but don't concern yourself too much with the post. Primarily your concern is anything like a deep cross or out of wide cross or a slot post out of like a, out of like a shallow cross type play. So thanks for watching the video. That's my favorite defense. You want to learn more about this? This is just the tip of the iceberg. We go super in depth into these coverages and these pressure concepts in the Big Nickel Over G defensive guide. If you want to get that, join our Patreon. That comes with everything, comes with all of our stuff, and uh, we'll definitely help you take your Madden game to the next level. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the Big Nickel defense, the link is in the description, and you can go check that out at the link down below.